Hello, Internet, and welcome to my Galaxy S4 review, part one. Welcome to Kate Rants About Something. Today, I'm going to rant about the Samsung Galaxy S4. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and start with things I hate about this phone. Actually, no, scratch that. Let's start, let's start by what is good. So the screen, as you can see, is very, very bright. So if we go ahead and go into the gallery, I can show you a picture or two uh, with the screen so you can see how bright and nice it is. So we go back to the gallery, we can open this picture that I'm cheating. I took this picture with my uh, Canon uh, 50mm lens on my T3i and the picture came out very, very, very nice. Um, so yeah, you can see the screen is very bright and you can see it too well here. Uh, but trust me, it's really, really, really nice. Next, another thing I like about this phone is how thin it is. You can tell right there that the phone is really thin. It's, it's, it's smaller than my pinky finger. And it's very, very, extremely lightweight. Uh, very lightweight, almost to the point where it feels dangerous to hold it because, oh my god, it might break. Because it does feel a little bit plasticky. Another thing that I like about this phone is the notifications. It shows you a lot of useful stuff. For example, it tells you partly cloudly, the Avast, the Wi-Fi is connected, all that stuff. It, it, it shows you all this information here. And if you want to see more, for example, to turn on or off the Wi-Fi, the GPS, the sound, all you have to do is just come up here and click it and you're good to go. Other than that, I'm afraid I have to say that the phone itself isn't really good. For example, I come I come from an iPhone 4S and honestly, the camera is a downgrade. I took this picture. Uh, I'm going to show you this and a bunch of other pictures that I took and the camera really leaves a lot of stuff to be desired. The iPhone camera is way superior as you can see in these pictures right here. Similarly to that, taking screenshots also sucks in this phone. You have to hold these two buttons together and then you have a screenshot. As opposed to on the iPhone 4S, where all you have to do is just go ahead and take your screenshot right there immediately. As you probably observed, flipping the phone takes forever. So if we go back to the picture I just showed you, I click on it, I have it ver in, ho in vertical, to switch to horizontal, it takes four fucking ever. I shit you not, it takes about two fucking seconds for it to switch over. That is really, really, really bad when you compare it with the iPhone that switches almost instantaneously, as you can see there, it switches just fine. Congratulations, Internet, on successfully watching my video. Now feel free to click here to go to the next one, or just go to the bar over there and find another one that you would like to skip to, okay? So, yeah. I'm just gonna chill here. I'm just gonna chill here. Never mind me. Never mind me. Just chillin'. Like a villain. I am just chillin'. Chilling like a villain. Yeah.